Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, it's a very special video because tonight we are going to be going out inside a Lamborghini Huracan Technica. That's right. So it's going to be my first ever time in a supercar version of a Lamborghini Huracan model. It's going to be the best one so far, the latest Lamborghini, the last of the V10, the Lamborghini Huracan Technica. And we're going to have some fun. We're going to give the car some good loud accelerations, give it some nice sounds around the streets of London. The owner is only 23 years Old, the same age as myself and that just proves to show to you that dreams actually can happen as long as you have the right attitude to becoming successful in life you have a plan and you follow your dream and you just focus on your goals and so i hope this video is motivational for you guys i hope you guys are inspired by the car by the owner's journey hopefully we can share some gems with you guys to apply to your journey in life lastly to mention everyone make sure you guys actually subscribe to my youtube channel help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of of this year i need your guys's support no one in the supercar industry in london is making videos like myself making videos of the cars actually driving around and i'm actually sharing these experiences with you and by you guys subscribing to my channel only allows more owners to allow me to make content with their supercars i'm on a journey of becoming the biggest supercar channel in london at the moment as well as inspiring you guys by becoming the best entrepreneurial and motivational channel only to give back to you guys show you guys the wealth that exists in this life and hopefully I can share these experiences with you guys so that you guys become motivated and want to become successful and achieve the finer things in life because if you take a look at everything I've shown you so far on my channel from the cars to nice apartments in London in Mayfair it's amazing and it's possible these are people that actually own these type of things so it can be done if you guys look at the supercar industry in London at the moment no one is making videos like I am where you guys actually get to hear the sounds of the car the reactions and just go on drives with the owners make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that you guys could experience everything alongside with me you become inspired motivated yeah overall let's just have a good time and now we're gonna jump in the Lamborghini Hurricane Technica let's have some fun so everyone this is a very nice looking Lamborghini Hurricane Technica it's like a Superman spec I'd say and of course this is how you open up the Lambo got the nice lovely Lamborghini uh, emblem on the floor those are parking tickets of course and as you can see there you've got the lovely Hurricane Technica dash that illuminates so it's a very nice looking spec Technica beautiful spec to go for very classy definitely something that will resell easy and as you can tell you've got the new hexagonal exhaust pipes got the nice number plate and of course you've got the exposed Lamborghini rear engine so fully glass carbon fiber everywhere it's a bit hard to see because it's night but such an amazing car and what we're going to do is, is take this around London tonight and just tear up the streets basically hopefully you guys could enjoy the nice accelerations I'm about to rain so I'm about to head on inside everyone and basically share this experience with you hopefully you guys get inspired by this video stay motivated to achieving your goals in life and you could also watch me achieve mine help me get to 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible and yeah just take a look at the interior everyone with the lovely sport bucket seat so you probably can't see it because it's quite dark but of course black on red we call this the superman spec <laughs> What made you go for the Hurricane Technica? Because you had the 812 super fast first, didn't you? Bro, I just had this on order. Really? Okay. Yeah, I just had it on order. Just had so it's all like updated, like with the new screen there. Yeah. And crazy. Wow. Um, Shallow, your fleet gives you the same as well. Definitely. You just gotta stick at it. Yeah, like I'm trying I my best, you, man. I've seen you notes. I'm on 2.9k at the moment That's now. Good. So All it like, requires, bro, is consistency. Same with anything you do. Just remember that. Be consistent. 100%. How does it feel like driving this, by the way? Well, it feels good. Yeah, we'll go somewhere one time and you can drive it. What it's going to do is inspire you to get one. It's beautiful. Like yeah. the, the new dash as well, which I like the most. It's nice. just like crazy. Uh, that probably scares your heart. <laughs> crazy. Hurricane Technicas you have the new uh, screen here in the middle and just an amazing car what do you think about the dash? It's amazing. It started from the Puffer Montes and now it's in everything. The Technica too. 
Is it quite easy to drive in London when you're navigating around or? I'll be honest with you, the Huracan in general is a very easy car to drive. It's one of them ones anyone can get in, they'll be able to drive it. Something like the 812 Super Fast, on the other hand, is completely different. Okay, that's quite long. That requires it? a skill, it's a massive long front end, engines right in front of you. You're literally sitting on the rear wheels. Crazy. That's an exhilarating car that is. But this is fun, it makes all the right noises at the low end speed. Definitely. I think a V10 is a lot more louder, especially on idle oh, compared to compared to the V12. V12 you have to stretch it all the way to the end of the rev range to get all the right sounds. Not that yeah. like you're doing crazy speeds on these type of roads. That's great. Something like this, 10, 15, 20 miles per hour and it makes all the noise you need. Crazy. And what's it like on fuel? Is it quite juicy? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know, I daily drive uh, a uh, Range Rover SVR so Okay. In comparison to that, it's not too bad, I'll be honest with you. That's a completely different car, this, isn't it? This is like an animal. Oh. Today's been like a very like content, like Saturdays are like a content day. Like it's been a busy one today, hasn't it? Definitely. So, I'm so thankful and grateful to you for giving me this opportunity. Oh, we got to do it on a day where there's no traffic and we can actually use the car for what it's for. It's definitely. If not, we need to go on the outsides of London a little bit and put our foot yeah. down. Crazy, sir. Is that not addictive? Just <laughs> the, the, oh, the way it's crazy. Isn't it? You're, actually, Look, you don't get bored. I can tell you can just handle the car so good as well. Yeah, then I'm used to it. Bear in mind the Technica's are rear-wheel drive Hurricanes. Oh, so they skid out as well? No, no, to be honest, surprisingly they don't. Okay. It feels very planted for a rear-wheel drive car. I don't know, I'm confident enough to just hammer it like it's a four-wheel drive. What would your advice be to people watching this right now who want to jump in a Lambo one day? In terms of like following their dreams, their passions, um, obviously you came from humble beginnings, so of course. what would you tell well, us? The main thing, stay humble, stay in your own lane, put your head down and work. Because you're only going to get rewarded for hard work. There's no get easy, it's not like no a life get like that, no, no, it's not, it doesn't exist. What would you say to people who are going through like a, the worst stage of their life, like a stage where they are rock bottom at the moment? Bro, it depends to who's listening, but I'd say find your God, find... Just, you need to have the right headspace before you do anything about making yourself better. So find God and he'll do the rest. What type of seats are in this car? These are the sports seats. Okay, feel quite tight and upright. It's like... Your back really gets into it. You feel the grips. Uh, it's got to hug you in. I, I spec this thinking I'm going to use it for the track, so that is the ultimate uh, goal here. You want to use the car for what it's made for as well. What was the top speed you've been in this car in Mexico? Mexico, we went 160. Wow. Well, I'm 160. sure we can push it further next time. Definitely. You've got to get there first. Unfortunately, you guys, as you can tell, there's a lot of traffic. We're in a bit of Mayfair traffic on a Saturday night. So, yeah, I remember you done a tunnel run in this car as well. That sounded crazy. I remember being behind you as well. To get your hands on one of these cars, it's just like an unreal experience. So, of course, you have Lamborghini's famous start and stop switch, which you lift off everyone from here. So, it's like a fighter jet. Then you have the infotainment screen with all your selection modes. So, you've got your vehicle selection, your navigation, telephone. I'm assuming you probably never use that, right? Okay. <laughs> so, just for the music and the volume, that's about it. That's about it. So, but when you're in a V10, you don't really need either of that anyway. Exactly, so you've got the exhaust sound which is like your, your music for the listeners out there. If you're watching this right now and you're probably thinking, oh, does this sound really loud? It actually does, but you just have to be here in real life to actually experience that that real sound. The way the sound echoes off the buildings as well in London, it's just like another yeah, thing. And, um, for me, I think the dash is just so beautiful. Yeah, just Take a look at that everyone. What do you think in terms of attention that this car gets? Do you think that a lot of people sort of look at the it? The attention or? is crazy. Firstly, the colour, not many Huracans are in this colour anyway. It's blue citrus. Okay. Is that an ad personal colour or is it's that? It's an ad persona uh, colour, yeah. Course, attention okay. wise, it gets a lot more attention than a Ferrari does. The Lambo factor is very real. Crazy. 
Of course, the Ferrari, as we mentioned earlier, guys, is a lot more quieter unless you get get to like the red line. Yeah, exactly. The red line, but with this car, you can just hear that that rumble, and as you can tell, a lot of people taking um, notice of the car. And um, all we're doing is just idling around right now. If you're from my local community, I hope you guys are getting inspired by this video to take the right choices in life and of course hard work does pay off as you can tell. The brother here came from humble beginnings and as he mentioned he went from the Ferrari A Tour Superfast to the Lamborghini Huracan Technica. It seems like you daily this car actually because I see you drive this car so much. So like... so I, I actually live outside of London, but I also have a place in London. So whenever I'm in London, I just decide to take this. Okay, well. It's very easy to daily anyway, which is the type of car you need when you're okay. in London. And is the steering quite light as well? Very um, light. As I can very see, light. you're just sort of like moving it. It's One like finger a... does the job. Crazy, wow. And right now, we're driving in Corsa, so when it's in Strada yeah. mode, it's even easier. we got to keep it in Corsa. I yeah, think definitely. if we've got a car like this, Unless, there's no reason you know, not to. unless there's police or something around then, exactly. then we have yeah. to flick it up. You know this car was brand new, so how many miles have we got on it at the moment then? 1,071. Crazy, was that from about obviously less than 100 right? It started on 32 miles. Wow, so quite a lot then, <laughs> quite a lot. You're actually using the car, where it's actually it's made a month for. Or so. Crazy, I wish we could actually get this car obviously on like more open roads open roads but as you can tell everyone we're just stuck here Saturday night traffic in London as usual better than and nothing of course when you're inside the Lamborghini everyone where else could you be right now so this is leg room quite ample leg room as well going back yeah. down some of the cars I had I had an M4 competition pack and okay. that was San Marino blue with red interior and I fell in love with that car wow. so I kind of based this car on that a little bit yeah guys don't forget to subscribe share and like to the channel of course uh, hopefully you guys are inspired by this Lamborghini today and, and the loud accelerations we gave the car. What do you think about the uh, Lamborghini as Performantes? Having said that, I've actually got one that's arrived in the country this week, so hopefully we should be taking delivery of that next week. Wow, crazy. There you guys have it, so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, help me get to 10,000 subscribers this year. This has been uh, such an amazing and unreal experience. Like first time in the Lamborghini Huracan Technica and it just feels like a roller coaster and the way the car sounds. What I'm going to do guys is just take this in now. It's yeah, such an amazing car and once again, thank you so much for the... Let's get this to 10,000 10, subscribers ASAP please. Yeah.